so yeah, kind of last week's week's event started with an occupation of the vice chancellor's office in Senate House, which is the main building of University of London. It was of like quite a long list of demands, ranging from um, outsourced workers, um, working contracts, bringing cleaners and support, like cleaners and other outsourced workers in staff, getting sick pay holiday pay pensions for everyone since 2008 our university staff has had in real terms a pay cut of 13% because of inflation and now they're offered a 1% pay rise and they're not happy with it which is yeah, definitely fair enough and I'm really happy that we as students are supporting our staff as well because it is really all about university being a community rather than university being a business the newest our kind of latest step is that um, the government is aiming to privatize the entire stock of student loans they've already started with the ones that were given out before 1998 and sold them off to private investors which is really quite serious because when we take a student loan to pay our fees we kind of agree on certain terms which are that for instance we don't need to pay it back unless we earn a certain amount of money per year and that the uh, interest rate is quite reasonable but obviously if these loans are sold off to private investors they can get rid of all these conditions which is in effect a retrospective hike in tuition fees and obviously on top of that there is all this police intimidation and really the um, amount of violence last week I saw my friends being punched in the face and jumped on when the police were arresting them sometimes not really arresting for a much other reason than someone for instance trying to interfere with another arrest and ask the police why they were arresting someone and the next moment you know they were kicked into the ground and arrested themselves like it it, it has yeah it has really been um quite tough so there's a lot of issues that have been brought into the Senate House occupation and the students are fighting for like separate issues. But they all come under like quite a broad anti-prioritisation, pro-democracy, pro-equality, sort of like. So what we can maybe do is start framing a discussion around um, should we start a free education movement? Um, I think it's, um, if you look at like tax evasion, you look at the LIBOR scandal, you look at, um, there's lots of different ways that we could easily afford it. And just like challenging the challenging the idea that um, like education is a privilege, and and that would then re really reach out to like there's I think this massive youth unemployment partly because those good kids didn't get to go to university because of the nine thousand pounds. In in my university department, which is a sociology department, the biggest amount of funding that's come in years and years is from Tesco, and it's basically being used to use kind of like social sciences methods to understand people's consumption habits to just sell them more shit. I mean, this, and, and this is in a department which historically has had a very kind of like radical potential. And that's another aspect of it, which is that this isn't just a recent trend. This has totally happened. This is part of the sort of the, the neoliberal agenda right from the start. So one of Thatcher's policies was to starve out university departments that had radical potential in sort of like left oriented social sciences, expand the uh, business schools and all that kind of stuff so that academics had to suddenly go and just be teaching. And, and I teach uh, an undergraduate module on the sociology of work. And it is a very kind of like left wing critical perspective. And the vast majority of my students are business school students who are not given any of the critical capacities to engage with the impact that their future business life will have, which is, you know, a shift in the university that's happened in the last 30 years.